Hello again everyone, Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the Nautilus drydocks.com. Um, had a submarine come back home to the dry docks again and I think this is actually like the third time that it's come back just for minor adjustments and in this particular case uh, swapping out the radio and simply installing the bow planes. So uh, hey, since it's here I thought I would give you uh, a view of it. Uh, there is a complete video on the buildup of it if you wanted to go back in time and check it out. But uh, if you don't feel like doing that right now, let's show you how it works and uh, what I did to get it souped up for the owner. All right, this is uh, what is typically termed as a Thor. Seawolf kit in uh, 196 scale, absolutely gorgeous kit. Um, this was a commission build for me a few years ago. Gosh, I think it was like three years ago. And uh, it has a three and a half inch OTW dive module in there. It's a pump based ballast system. I want you to note the size of the ballast tank. Really, this is only probably about five, maybe six inches. Uh, in overall length. This submarine does not need a lot of positive buoyancy to get it up to the correct surfaced waterline. Um, this is all just laying in here because I didn't feel like putting the separate uh, watertight container for the battery together for testing purposes. Um, but if we just take a look at this, there is a, a watertight compartment in the front that leads into this forward compartment of the cylinder. We got a remote on off switch our main gear pump that pumps water in and out and the solenoid valve that prevents any backflow. Uh, underneath is the dive controller that turns the pump on and off uh, and also tells it when the tank is full and empty automatically. You can see these little probes inside that uh, handle that function. We've got our receiver, servos for rudder and rear dive planes and uh, our main drive motor. Underneath is the uh, main electronic speed controller and we've got a pitch controller. Um, all of our linkages and everything in this absolutely gorgeous little pump jet unit to make it all go. Um, previously, this model was controlled by a Futaba T9 cap uh, nine channel, well I guess it would be eight channel radio system and the uh, owner didn't like it, it was just too darned complicated so um, we swapped that out for one of our um, gorgeous little VEX six channel units and uh, you know the beauty of this obviously there's still spare channels left over to control the boat so uh, let's just run through the various functions here we've got our forward dive planes and uh, those connect magnetically to the uh, linkage right there in the bow. So there's no physical connections, mechanical connections. You just drop the hull uh, in place. It automatically snaps together and uh, you are ready to go. Looking in the back here, we have got our uh, throttle. Forward and reverse. We've got uh, our rudder linkages we have our uh, rear dive plane override that is all controlled um, automatically through the automatic pitch controller which you can see in effect right there and we've got the pump control uh, and that is uh, right here so that are the main functions uh, of the boat. All right, I wanted to show you just how easy it is to pop that top hull on and have those magnetic linkages align for the front bow planes. There we go. And we'll take a look at our uh, front dive planes. Well, with that, I am going to consider this project completed. Uh, a few hours of work in there to get it going, but it is back to 100% ready for the new owner, uh, or the old owner in this case, to throw it in the pond and have some fun this summer. 
Thanks for joining me, everyone. I'm talking to Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the Nautilus, drydocks.com. We'll catch you next time. <laughs>